Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so today 21 September 2019 I will review the trade of last week so let's start with GBP odd we go with the swing trading strategy so for our chart try to be fast so first line power is down so we want to take this level it's a dodgy exit of the dodgy breakout entry only stop loss right here and this one is a loss second level we have this dodgy before the level then touch the level and break down my entry would be at the breakout of the dodgy going down my stop loss would be above the line and this one is running in profit not yet done so i don't count it let's go on euro odd so euro at beginning of the week we have this very little dodgy breakout of the dodgy this is a winning trade then second we have this trend line no breakout of this dodgy but breakout of the pin bar stop loss here and this trade is running around 50 percent of the size losing for now but didn't close yet so i don't count it so on this chart we have one winning trade Odd Singapore. Odd Singapore. Beginning of the week, one dodgy breakout of the dodgy is a losing trade. Then, second level, too much big dodgy right here, so I don't take this one. But after that, made a pin bar right here. Breakout of the pin bar, or even retracement actually. Retracement entry for pin bar is better, that's what I advise. And this one made 2.5 reward, so it's a break even. I don't count it. So only one loss on this pair. Or GPY, no trade. <coughs> or the New Zealand. There is one trade running right now. But the pin bar didn't touch, so you could not have taken it. I don't count this one. Odd CHF. Odd the CHF. There was a pin bar just below at the 200 EMA, so you could have taken this one. And this one is a losing trade. Hot cat. Hot cat. What do we have? We have a dodgy strain going up right here. Dodgy here. Breakout of the dodgy. Make two rewards. So this is a break even trade. And after no other trade. Odd USD. Oh, the USD, there was a very nice dodgy right here, breakout, but same, after I made a double like that. This is a losing trade, even if you could have been uh, break even, prefer to count worst case scenario. Now let's go on CAT CHF gold. So CAT CHF, our up and down. This doji eventually going down but didn't break on the next candle so this signal is not good. After there is a very little one and this one eventually is a loss. So I count one loss. And that's it for this level during the week. CAD JPY. CAD JPY. We have this this dodgy touching the trend line breakout of the dodgy this one is running in profit around 2.5 so still going good actually let me check 23 yeah two rewards so far so i don't count it but it's raining with good profit and worst case scenario it will finish break even so power up on this specific pair and same we have one losing trade for this pin bar right here and three stop loss and losing trade CHF Singapore
So CHF thing up who power up and down. What happened is this very nice pin bar. You can eventually take the middle of this pin bar and the stop loss is below because it's very few pips around the level and this one is a winning trade. And also at the beginning of the week you have this doji forming and breakdown of this doji it's a winning three reward trade. So actually we have two win on this specific pair. Let's go on Singapore JPY. Singapore JPY power up and down it touch our white line, make a nice doji right here, break out of this doji, is 3 reward, winning trade. Gold, uh, gold didn't touch any level. Silver, same, USDPLN, same, MXN, same. So EURUSD didn't touch anything. EUROCAD, EUROCAD we have trades. So what happened on Eurocad? Power up as you can see and down from this specific level. So price go down, create this doji, break of this doji, it's a winning trade. Euro CHF didn't touch anything. Euro New Zealand touched the level on Friday and this one is a losing trade. So we see create a nice pin bar but little candle and after break up. So this one is a losing trade. Euro JPY <coughs> Euro JPY touch the level, create a nice week but this is more of a dodgy and eventually a breakout entry this one made three rewards. So this one is a winning trade. Add the level. Then Euro Singapore. Now Euro Hong Kong, nothing. Euro Nok, nothing. Euro Zar, nothing. GBP, nothing. Touch Euro GBP. What happened during this week? We have one losing trade. This was an entry point, stop loss right here, and this one, 12 pips, actually it's a break even, so it's not a losing trade for this one, it made 2 rewards, so the stop loss go to break even, and after made this pin bar, so you enter at the end of this pin bar, 24, and it made 51, so this one is break even again, <laughs> so there is no, no trade that we can count on this one, but it made 2 rewards 2 times on this specific pair. GBP Singapore. So power was up. Eventually this trend line has been touched a lot of time, but when you see so price touch touch reverse touch reverse nearly touch reverse and so a lot of time here. After it breaks this level and what happened is here there is this nice pattern with a pin bar right here entry stop loss right here and this is a trade takeable it's a winning trade then what you have is this pin bar right here creating two doji you could have placed eventually a stop a sell stop right here and the stop loss right here and this is running 1.5 profit so it's not yet done also a more riskier is you see a very large week like that it's around 40 pips for a week of a candle, it's very big. You can eventually enter right here in the middle and take 40, 49 pips and it's already 100, so 2 reward. In worst case scenario, it is goes, if it goes against us, it will be a break-even trade. I don't count it, but for you to know. GBP New Zealand. Didn't touch the level, didn't make pattern. And we are in a trade with one reward winning on this one. Pin bar touch the round number, so stop loss is above the line, and this is around one re reward. Or eventually two reward if you take the retracement entry in the middle. 1.5. So no trade to count because it's not finished. GBP 
JPY. So what happened is we have this pin bar, first pin bar, and this one is a loss eventually. And after you have the second at the level, so you place your stop above the level entry at the retracement entry, and this is running. 50, 120, 2.5 rewards so far. I don't count it, but it's running nicely. GBP. Oh, and sorry, there is a trend line trade right here. Breakout right here. I think it made two rewards, so it's a break even trade. Nothing for the account, but interesting to know. GBP cat didn't touch. GBP CHF. A bit frustrating this week, it didn't touch the level for a few pips, made a pin bar. You could have eventually entered the middle right here, stop loss eventually above the round number to be sure. And it's 1.5 reward so far. I don't count it, but it's a possible entry. GBP USD. GBP USD made a very nice pin bar right here, entry breakout or eventually retracement at the trend line. And this run two rewards, so I don't count it, but those are very nice trade running in nice profit for now. As I said, the week was very slow. So let's go to New Zealand trade. Knock JPY. Now this one we have one loss and one win. I explain. The loss is we have this level rejected a lot of time right here and then after it create a pin bar right here. So your entry, stop loss below, stopped out and after what you have, you have a very nice pin bar. So entry at the middle of this pin bar, stop loss right here and this one is a winning trade. So you have one loss and one win on this pair. Now NZD JPY. During the week, didn't make a pattern, touch level, but didn't make a pattern. And the DCAD, CHF, sorry, same. And the DCAD. And the DCAD made a pin bar, so you can eventually have a loss right here. Stop loss is here, trigger out. And you have a nice level just below, but didn't touch yet. So one loss on NZD CAD. And the USD. There was this nice pattern right here. Doji breaking up and it made 26 pips when you have 12, so it's a break even trade, don't count it. And now it's at the level right now, so we will see on Monday morning what does it make. It's good to take a buy level at this specific one. Now let's go on USD. This one, nothing, this one, nothing, this one, nothing. Sake JPY, nothing. USD are now USD Singapore. USD Singapore, so as you can see, the arrow was here very nicely to buy. And it created a nice doji on Monday morning, and the stop loss is below this spike right here. And this one is a winning trade. Now let's look at. USD CHF nothing touch USD JPY power is up touch didn't create anything after didn't break up and when it read touch we might count one loss right here to be sure and that's it for the week let's go on USD CAD USD CAD nothing touch so that's it. The account for the week is 9 trade winning and 10 losses. The win win 3 reward, so 27 reward. Minus 10, it's 17 reward times 2%. It means 34% of your account with the pending, with the swing trading strategy with the swing trading strategy this week. Now let's check quickly for the pending order. Pending order, on the daily chart, nothing touch. 
USD CHF, nothing touch. USD Singapore. USD Singapore, this was a trade from last week and it's a winning trade. USD Zar, nothing touch outside the envelope. USD Polonia, no. 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 Let's go on New Zealand. New Zealand didn't touch outside the envelope. The only outside the envelope is right now, so it didn't touch yet either. Then we have NZDCAD, nothing outside the envelope. No level. This one might be. Let me check in. Yeah, it touched exactly outside the envelope and didn't react, so this is one loss. Outside the envelope with a level, there is nothing. Let's go on GBP. So GBP USD. Touch the level outside the envelope. Is this one is a winning trade? Around 100 pips target profit hit before the end of the day. This one didn't touch. GBP cat didn't touch. GBP JPY didn't touch because it was exactly at the envelope, so I don't count it. GBP New Zealand. So this one didn't touch. Very few pips below. It would have been a winning. This one is a winning. Let's check how many pips. 120 and it's 46. No, not totally. It's around 2.8 reward yet. Euro. GBP. Inside the envelope everything. No touch. So that's it. Euro. Euros are nothing. Euro knock. Nothing. Euro Hong Kong, nothing. Euro Singapore, nothing. Euro JPY, nothing outside the envelope. Euro New Zealand. So Euro New Zealand, the line is right here. Could have been taken eventually, even if it's at the envelope. The stop loss is 38, uh, 37 plus 2, sorry. So it's around uh, 39.5, 40. I would have placed 40. Let's check the price. Price made 36. So we are still in a trade. Still running. Euro CHF didn't touch. Euro CAD didn't touch outside the envelope. Euro USD, same. It was very slow week, even if there was some news. The volatility was slow. So, USDMXN, no, no. 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 Gold, no. Singapore, JPY. No, not at outside the envelope. This one, reverse, few pips below. Don't, no trade. CHF GPY nothing, CAT GPY nothing, CAT CHF nothing, Australian dollar pairs, so, odd USD, no, odd CAD, no either, odd CHF Outside the envelope, no. Hot New Zealand, no. Hot GPY, no. Hot Singapore was inside the envelope, so no. Euro odd, Euro odd. So we have one loss, the yellow line, and the trend line is running. Let me check how many reward it made. So 33 and it made only 60. Now it's a break even trade. When it made two reward, this one. It's break even, so nothing. So one loss, sorry. So far only two win, two loss. And this is uh, GBP odd that didn't touch and the line was inside the envelope. So this level is not uh, a trade. The other one might have been a trade. If you put your entry a little bit be, uh, below. So, so far, 2 win, 2 loss, 2 times 3 equals 6, 6 minus 2, 
4, 4 times 2%, 8% profit on the pending order strategy. So all in all, 34% with the swing trading strategy and 8% for the pending order. 42% for the week if you follow both strategy. Have a nice day, I wish you success for next week, cheers! This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.